Welcome aboard, I'm Jason of Argo. It is currently nighttime here at Stonehurst. The Argonauts are currently sleeping alongside their new prisoner slash recruit, Dan, who we have healed up with our herbal medicine. And he seems to be doing fine, as is everybody else. Long, how are you? You've been tended to. Lord, you have a gently bleeding stab wound in the leg. Williams, you should probably take care of that. Prioritize tending, and uh, then you can sleep. I'm <laughs> We're going to get around to that last bed sooner or later. But what we need right now is to make sure that everybody uh, doesn't get an infection. And if I, after all, you are the Glitter World Surgeon, Williams. This is what you uh, signed up for, isn't it? And so now Williams has no choice but to go to sleep next to his patients. You have excellent bedside manner, Williams. I can't imagine why Long split with you. Maybe because you're greedy for an impressive bedroom? That might be it. It might be the fact that uh, no matter where he is, Williams is probably never really satisfied. He is both greedy and nervous. So he's not, he's passive aggressive all the time. I can't really imagine living with someone like that. But what we do have is a qualified surgeon. So uh, once they wake up, I'm going to go ahead and clean up all this blood. This is kind of gross. And I want you guys to also go ahead and harvest all of these things. We need to focus on getting all of these trees cut down. And uh, hopefully you guys will be able to do that soon. You got some, you had some really, really good efficient tending to those wounds. So I'm pretty sure that any minute now you'll be able to uh, hop back up and get back to work on the tree cutting because we need to finish off the flooring and also create a new bed for Williams before he goes insane and stabs you all. Yep, he's currently at a minor break risk. He's just that greedy for a good bedroom. Crazy. Ooh, a traitor. They will hang out for a few days. You can attack them, but this will anger their faction. All right, well, everybody's out of bed, which means that uh, we will be able to get our little cabin fixed up very quickly. Ooh, it's an entire caravan. Good. Uh, long, you are the one who's good at talking, correct? Social is six with double flames, yeah. Well, uh, I hope you guys like uh, unfinished flooring. And what the problem is, these guys are also checking us out. They're gonna come and see what we're like, and hopefully they'll decide that we're too <laughs> that we're too weak for them to actually attack. Um, can we sell them some stuff? Maybe we got components. They are paying a pretty high price for components. So we have a lot, but no, we have a lot of uh, stuff left to do before we can make our colony self-sufficient. I can't really give those up just yet. We have synth thread pants that we can give up. Uh, for 75. How? Hold on, hold on. Who's got... Does everybody have pants? I need to actually make sure. Flak pants. No, Williams is wearing flak pants? You can't even fight, Williams. Drop those. Drop those immediately. And, uh, let's see. Unforbid those. And, Lord, you can go ahead and you can equip those. Four square the flak pants. Shouldn't that leave us with a, uh... That should leave us with an extra pair of, uh of pants that we can actually sell, correct? Because now Williams has regular pants, Long has regular pants, right. That's gonna be 75 silver. Whammo slammo. Except that, oh, keep talking. We're not quite done yet. What else can we get from you? Hyperweave War Veil. A War Veil Torn to appear damaged in combat. Some believe this functions as a talisman of courage. Increases pain shock threshold. Which I guess uh, lowers your chance for being stunned or knocked over. Psychic foil helmet. A thin helmet containing finely tuned sheets of psychically absorptive foil. Reduces the impact of psychic waves. Well, that would seem, that would seem like something we would want. But not right at the moment. Devil strand tribal head headdress. Improve social impact. Social impact plus 15%. I imagine that means that um, they will be able to, uh, you know, cheer people up more when they talk. What is Nutramine? A synthetic precursor chemical, useless on its own. Many drugs require 
Neutroamine as an ingredient. All right. All right. They're not willing to buy people. Sucks to be them. We got some raw meat. And we could buy we could buy a muffalo. We could in fact buy a muffalo. Tame muffalo or docile can be used to pack out. Well, I don't know. We uh, we we I don't want to use. We only have seven hundred. We can't use it too much just yet. Cloth duster. Uh, cloth tribal headdress. Ooh. Now that's pretty good. One hundred twenty-three for higher social impacts. Uh, let's go ahead and see what happens when we buy that one. And ooh, a sun lamp. Ooh, a sun lamp. That could be extremely useful, especially for our uh, smaller growing periods. Let's go ahead and buy that too, just in case, because I'm pretty sure eventually we're gonna need it. So yeah. Go ahead and oh, packaged for storage and transport. Use this command to install the item in a final location. I don't want to. I don't want to install it in a final location. Yeah, just go ahead and keep it in there for now. That's pretty cool, honestly. And if you guys could finish uh, building the beds, maybe. Lord, what are you wearing? Is he already wearing the cloth tribal headdress? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, his social is okay, so I'm fine with him wearing it. Or maybe William should wear it. His social is also pretty good. Yeah, Lord, I can't see you needing that headdress right now. Go ahead and just drop it, and Williams, you pick it up, just in case we need you to do any sort of uh, negotiations on our behalf. And yeah, go ahead and finish up that. Oh, construction botched. Really? Are you are you sure about that? Is that? <laughs> are you sure about that? We need that bed done so that people can actually sleep at night. Lord, come on. There we go. It's a normal quality bed. Good enough. In fact, all these beds are normal except for the prisoner bed, which you know works out just fine for me. A lore keeper named Vasalo is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If he survives, he will be badly wounded. Vasalo is from your enemy, the Black Swamp Treaty. You can capture him for recruitment or slavery purposes. Well, Vasalo, what do you got for us? You will die in 12 hours, but what can you give us if we do rescue you? You can give us... Undergrounder has no need to experience the outdoors. He will never feel cooped up or get cabin fever, and is not bothered by darkness. He has also got some iron will. He's good at social, construction, melee... Mining. Yeah, I think you're worth helping out. Let's go ahead and get uh, Williams to go ahead and capture. Oh, okay, fine. We gotta, we gotta give up another bed. Sorry, guys. We're already starting to, uh, <laughs> we're starting to hit kind of peak capacity here. Williams, uh, yes, go ahead and capture Vasalo. Capture for now. Why were you in a transport pod? Did they, was that some sort of strange form of execution where they just blast you off into space and hope that you die on the way down? Either way, I think it's time that we actually also started setting up some grow zones out here. Let's see. Let's uh, let's go ahead and put our first one down here. Take advantage as as much of this uh. excellent soil as we can and let's see in this one we will create yeah potatoes potatoes are a must at least uh at least to start with and then we'll put up another one like right there and this one will grow uh rice these are both staple foods uh they're not too nourishing but that's why I'm going to create yet another grow zone. And here, we're going to create a buttload of corn, if we can. If anybody is able... Is, there, is anybody available to grow corn? No? Really? Oh. Well, that sucks. 
The, oh, there it is. Corn plant. Yes. Those will definitely come in handy during the winter. We might actually want to uh, make a little more. That's probably going to be too much. Oh, I just deleted the entire zone. Silly me. Let me just uh, go ahead and fix that right now. Because we don't want... We don't want too much, because if we have too much, then uh, we'll end up running out of space for all of our stuff. So for now, for now, we're just going to have these thin little strips, and then we'll grow into the rest of it. Although, this is kind of silly. Let's go ahead and get rid of these. Let me try and organize this a little better. They look, they look ridiculous. I'm mostly just trying to take advantage of as much of the fertile soil as I can. I'll reorganize this to look better once we get the crops in and once we actually uh, have our food situation in order. Speaking of which, somebody's going to have to get out there and hunt. Long, Long, do you think you could uh, maybe start hunting some stuff? Let's see. Uh, what's a pretty good pack animal? There's a dead fox over there. We could try to take one of the deer, although a turkey, a turkey is quite nice. And yeah, we could probably, we could probably, we don't want to take one that's too young or too old. Ten. Ten years old sounds like a good one. Hopefully the stags don't attack us. And llamas, we could, we could go, we could tame those llamas actually. Couldn't we? Don't llamas give you, uh, don't llamas give you, uh, cloth? Or at least the raw materials to make cloth. Ooh. Ooh, somebody go pick that up, actually. Long. If you could, haul in that uh, dead ibex. That's going to be a good source of... Uh, it's going to be a good source of meat right then and there. Masalo, you have been tended to. Excellent. A psychic drone? Oh, no. Okay, it's only on the females, so it's going to be okay for now. Why is this here? It's a... Why did you bring the... Why did you bring the dead... Oh, for Pete's sake. Um, let's see. Is there any way we can... Any quality? Allow rotten. No, we don't want rotten. That goes in the dumping stockpile. And now we need to power this thing so that we can actually... Make sure that the Ibex is indeed frozen. So that means we need to start some power. Uh, wind turbines. We could just go ahead and put one right here. I hope it won't be too loud for anybody. I kind of like the idea of just putting it right here on top of this slab. Because uh, that's where the... Because nothing's going to grow there anyway. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to have to cut these down. because we don't want it to interfere with the uh, efficiency of it all. And Lord, yeah, go ahead and just start working. Prioritize working on it. We need it done yesterday. Long, did you haul the dead Ibex yet? Wait, where'd it go? How come you guys haven't brought in those package meals? Why is it over there? I don't want that. Do not allow that. No animal corpses. I'm pretty sure I told you guys that you can put it in there. It's not rotten yet. Yes, haul that. There we go. I was waiting when it, I was waiting for when it would actually uh, come together. So now we need a power conduit from here to here. Correct. E yes, probably. This will do for now. It's not perfect. I probably should have put it over here, actually. All things considered, this probably would have been a better placement for it. Oh, gosh. And then I could put the batteries in there, and then I could run conduits. Yeah, this might have actually been a better idea. Uh, but since that's there, we'll just leave, <laughs> we'll just leave it for now. Because it's too valuable to uh, just do away with. And we'll just uh, drag some conduit on over. Lord, prioritize working on that conduit. 
And we're also going to need... The bear's keeping itself happy. We're also going to need a battery. Can't wait. Um, can we... Can we not build batteries just yet? Ooh, that might be a problem. Let me look into research. Uh, water mill generator, solar panel. We have to research solar panels now. Ooh, okay. And we got to research a battery. We need to get that uh, research table going is what we need. Oh my gosh. That, <laughs> that's a bit of an issue right there. That is definitely a bit of an issue. Let's uh, drop that down right there right now. Uh, poor Williams is still <laughs> stuck outside without any form of uh, of sleep at all. We're gonna have to. We're already gonna have to do some uh, renovating. So what do we got here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. And I kind of want like a what I want to do is I kind of want to put like a central hallway like right I want to bump this out Yeah, I can I can actually How far can I push this Uh, It goes out to like three from here Four here All right in the interest of uh, symmetricality, can we? But if I deconstruct these, and they might, then they might, then these two guys might uh, start collaborating and kill us all. But I kind of want like a central hallway. Maybe I can move it over here. Okay, this is what I got planned. I'm gonna have like a central hallway, go hallway going up here. I'm gonna put a prisoner bed. I'm gonna put the prisoner beds up here. And I'm gonna have like a bunch of bedrooms kind of branching off. One, two, three, four, maybe a fifth one right here. And then of course I'm gonna put a geothermal plant right here because of that geyser. Um, but this has gotta go. This has definitely gotta go. So what I'm gonna do for now is I'm going to drop down all the walls that I want, like so. And I like, yeah, it's going to look kind of modular-ish. But I kind of like compartmentalization. And, of course, we're going to put some door, 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 door. And, yeah. Although that kind of leaves the question of what this space will be used for. Probably for, like, more decorative and we're already out of food. This isn't looking good. We need to get, we need to get, uh, can somebody act, actually, let me go ahead and just, uh, chop up the abex right now. Who's good at cooking? Uh, gear, 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 not gear, I need bio. Cooking, long, you are good at cooking and you're okay with animals. Prioritize butchering at the uh, table before that abex goes sour. There we go. Okay, good. So with that done, that's going to spoil in five days. It's refrigerated-ish as long as uh, this keeps going, which is good. And uh, wait, how exactly are we going to cook it? We need a stove now. Oh, my gosh. We need a little bit of everything. Production. It's in production, right? Electric stove. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get an electric stove up at the opposite corner right there. Ah, so little time and so much to do. Actually, go ahead. Yeah, prioritize working on the electric stove. And then we need more power conduit running directly to it, which means... Yeah, excellent. Which means that we are going to be able to cook all these bad boys and have some have a little bit more food than we did before. At the bar Why? Long? You already ate... You already ate some of the... Okay, I'm gonna forbid that. At least for now. Nobody can eat this until until we're actually done with it. Alright, good. 
Now, now Long, could you please go ahead and cook some simple meals? Try to cook 10 at least. Unforbid those. Cook at the stove. All right, and then everybody else will continue working on this and then we will, once we actually get this done, we will move the uh, prisoners up through here. We're gonna have to make some locked doors. We're gonna have to create at least one more door. Uh, right. Here. So that uh, we can have the, we can do the prisoner transfer, so to speak. I just hope that these guys can actually uh, make it happen. What are you doing? Oh, he's escorting him into the other room. That's actually quite clever. I never saw them do that before. Long is hunting, which is good. We need that. She's not very good at it. And Williams is at a major break risk. What is he doing? What do you need? He's in serious pain. Why are you in serious pain? Oh, because of the uh, stab scars. Yeah, you're gonna be pretty surly for a while, Williams, but as it stands, we can't really care about that right now. He's kind of wavering between uh, high and low break risk right now. Well, as long as he keeps it together for at least a little while longer. And as long as this thing does its job, where is it right now? It's 20, yeah, the temperature's going down. We're pretty good for now. And hey, Williams, at least you have a bed now. At least these guys can act, if these guys can share a room, then I can cancel that one and that one. Because what am I gonna need so many beds for? How many prisoners can I possibly take? I mean, eventually we're gonna take quite a few. Long. Don't do that. Oh, do we need, do we need more, do we need more meat? We probably need more meat. Yeah, she needs more materials. Well, go ahead and butcher another creature. Lord, drop it, drop the meat right now. Do not eat the raw meat. Wait until we get the simple meals done. Stop it. Lord, I know you're hungry. But what we need, oh, okay, yeah. We definitely need to get that, um, oh, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. We need a, uh, we need a fueled stove for when it all goes sour. Yeah, go ahead and just put one on there. Lord, go ahead, work on the, on the fueled stove and pray that our steel lasts us uh, long enough to create all this stuff that we need. Everybody's just getting force-fed raw meat right now. Man, there's so much stuff that you can't really do uh, right off the bat. It used to be... Ooh, but cargo... <gasps> yes, that is a lifesaver! Oh, thank you, Cassandra. Even though we're working on hard, you have say you have had mercy on us. See, sometimes RimWorld does nice things for you. Sometimes. Reduce resistance. Oh, that sounds like fun. I imagine, yep, his resistance is going down, which I imagine will make it less difficult to recruit him eventually. And let's go ahead and reduce, ooh, he's already, he's already pretty, uh, Vasalo's already pretty amenable to being recruited, but we could probably uh, work on him a little longer. Lord has major food poisoning. Well, I told you not to eat that raw Ibex meat there. Lord, that's your, that's all on you. I'm sorry, but I can't really be held responsible for whatever you manage to shove into your mouth. Okay, what needs to happen today? We need to concentrate on cutting down as many of these trees as we can. We need as much wood as possible. Not only to build... Oh, no, 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 no. You need to fuel that. Lord, just for Pete's sake. What's happening now? Insulting spree. Oh, great, fine. The final straw was an unsightly environment. Are you kidding me? We have this lovely looking, uh... And then we have a heat wave. Amazing. We have this lovely looking house, Williams. And yet you're unhappy with it. Well, you know what? I can't really be held responsible for that. I will beat you down 
Oh, of course you're going after Long. You you have some uh, you have some uh, unfinished business from the divorce, Williams. Is that what you're doing? At least he's done now. Okay, guys, I need you to seriously devote some some time to working on these uh, conduits because we need that final cooler up and running. We're like right like yesterday. It is getting to be well over a hundred. I think Vasalo has. Oh, okay, good. They're not dying of heat stroke just yet. Ah, <sighs> okay. But. It is going to be pretty tough to actually keep this thing going. Uh, can we... Okay, go ahead and uh, open it up. Yeah, hold it open. And then that should... So, so we're going to have two coolers working on uh, the interior. Nice. And now we have a mad dough. Well, you know, that's just fine because it means more meat. We're going to need that. Oh, no, he's attacking Williams. Long, get over there and attack the doe. Oh, my gosh, that's crazy. Williams, Williams, run. Save him. Save Williams. I forgot he was out. I forgot it was out there. How are you? He's getting lots of bruises. Oh, for Pete's sake. Uh... Fire at it. Don't let it don't let it attack Williams any more than it already has. Alright, good. Lord is now wandering around in a mental daze. Well, a mental daze is better than going absolutely insane, so I'll take what I can get. Our prisoners are both in the throes of minor heat stroke. Which isn't good, but they're just gonna have to tough it out, at least for now. Why is this? Okay, let's go ahead and just hold open all of these doors. If that's really what's going to happen, then, uh, well, not much I can do about it. Let's go ahead and unforbid those walls so that we can actually get those built. And long, stop going anywhere. You need to butcher all of those animals. And now, of course, we have a raid. But all it is is chicken with a club. That's it? Okay, well. Long? Oh, great. L Lord is still wandering in a daze. Lord, you should be... It's kind of going to be on your own to handle this. What we need to do is we need to meet Chicken in the open. Yeah, we're going to take cover in these... What? What? Long? What are you doing? Why are you going on a slaughtering spree now? We're being attacked. You're going to kill our chinchilla. You just... You just murdered our chinchilla! And we're still being attacked! Lo lo <laughs> Get back out there, Long! We don't have time for this! Oh, Lord... Okay, Chicken is currently uh, playing Chicken, actually, right now, actually. So, for now, we can... Uh... Oh, she's already at a major break risk again. That's excellent. Well, maybe if you start cooking, then we wouldn't have to worry about... Uh... You know. Oh, for Pete's sake. Stop it. Just get, just cook the food before you eat it long. Chicken has already attacked. Oh. Chicken has already attacked. Fine. I forgot about that one. And Williams is completely useless. Long is malnourished. And Lord, if he wasn't wandering around in a mental daze, would not have been attacked. It's not like I could have done anything to prevent this. It's, it, there, there really isn't. And now, Lord, one of the only useful people around has just been kidnapped by raiders because he decided to wander around like an idiot in 100 degree heat. And he wasn't able to fight off chicken, even though she was mal, he was malnourished. Great! We just had our first casualty, and now the plants have caught fire! Now everything has caught fire. Williams, can you at least help us put out the fire, maybe? Could you at least could you at least be that useful maybe stop trying to go back to get more food and okay well now our prisoners are beating each other and long has decided to go to sleep while oh thank goodness the rain has come oh thank goodness we're having a bit of a break well that was interesting at least only only some of our crops burned at the very least the rice is still growing 
And, uh, long. Why aren't... Oh, because I need to add the bills. Okay, I get it. Let's cook some simple meals from here as well. And Lord is just gonna have to be on his own. Don't even ask me why that all just happened. Because that's pretty much what RimWorld is. You think that you are... You think that you're in the clear, you think that you got plans, you think that you've got stuff to do, but... But then, the game just comes along and beats you down. Williams has decided to go to sleep in the rain. There are other beds to use, Williams. You know that, right? And now the heat wave is finally over. The heat wave is finally over. And we can finally get back to our lives. Sans, poor Lord. Who, I am going to say, it was all his fault. I absolutely will not take any responsibility for what happened to Lord. That was all his idea. He should not have been wandering around outside like an idiot. Dan the man, are you okay? No, they're not okay. They got some here they got some serious heat stroke going on. I think this kind of sums everything up. Williams just tried to go sit in front of a campfire in the rain while he is still suffering from deer bruise beatings. And of course the fire went out. And everybody's kinda Oh, okay. We got the friendly AI. I don't really care about that right now because I've, I've got to, I've got to, <laughs> I'm already out of time. This took up a lot more time than I thought and a lot just happened. Uh, Lord is gone. We have only have Long and Williams, the unfriendly exes, but hopefully at some point we'll be able to recruit Dan and Vasalo and they will actually be able to help us out. So if you guys like this, don't forget to leave a like and remember I am and will remain your captain and I will see you all on the next leg of our journey, assuming that these uh, silly people... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and forbid that stupid campfire. You don't have to keep... Just get rid of it. You don't have to keep refueling it in the middle of a rainstorm, guys. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign off here because that was a pretty big blow losing a colonist losing one of our capable colonists by the way and then there's another heat wave coming as another heat wave out of nowhere that's that's wonderful that's just amazing but we're learning you know that's just how how life goes on the room world you live and you learn and then you die and then you take what you've learned hopefully to help others survive in any case that's all I can do for now. Oh wait. There is no there is no heat wave coming. Thank goodness. It's still pretty hot out though. 87 degrees. That's pretty crazy. And Williams is probably going to be the next to go insane and burn stuff down. Yep, there he goes. On another insulting spree. And he's going to go yell at Long while she's asleep. Oh. What? What Dagwa is attacking? While Williams is in the middle of yelling at Long. This might actually be the end of our colony here. Or will it? You know... You know... Dan has just died of malnutrition. And we are... <laughs> Williams is feeding Vasalo the corpse of Dan immediately after he has died. I chopped his head off, actually. What, just scoop out his brains and serve it up with a side of fava beans, Williams? You insane surgeon. Is that why Is that why you came to the room world? Because you chopped up your patients and ate them? Well, that was an interesting development. And, I th and th okay, you know what? We're just going to wait and see how this last assault goes. We're going to see if we actually get killed by a single uh, raider. Where's Dagwa going? Can we get a clutch shot? Long, get out there. Try to hit Dagwa from where you are. Ooh, another good hit. Oh! Long, you just annihilated him. All right, well, thanks to this badass grandma, our colony might survive after all. If you would like to see how that happens, don't forget to leave a like, and remember I am and will remain your captain, and I will see you all on the next leg of our journey, assuming we haven't chopped it off and ate it. Bye-bye.